Ron Van Timmeren from Celebration Cinemas is on the other end of our line this morning on this last um, summer weekend. Ron, good morning to you. Good morning, Michael Patrick. There is a big article in uh, Time Magazine's issue this week that talks about the movie business, and apparently uh, the uh, amount of money earned by the movie business this year was higher, but the amount of visits was lower, and I think it's thanks in part to 3D movies and IMAX movies and that sort of thing. Did, did you find that to be the case? Ticket sales down, but revenues up? Yeah, slightly. Uh, you know, kind of a flat summer, if you will, and uh, still over $4 billion as an industry. That's still a nice big number. Uh, still had some big hits. Of course, uh, chief among them, Toy Story 3 did uh, over $400 million, uh, this summer. Iron Man 2, over $300 million. Eclipse. Uh, close to three hundred million. Still had some big hits, Michael Patrick. Just uh, uh, down a little bit, but uh, uh, breaking even is good. Was there not a major sort of destination movie this summer, an event movie that people went to? That that's what this article maintains that there wasn't really a happening movie. Yeah, I mean, you can certainly look back to the Christmas season, especially with Avatar. Uh, really saving the year, if you will, and, and getting us off to a big start in the mm -hmm. first quarter, uh, to, you know, so that the year to date is still actually up uh, about four uh, percent at the box office in terms of uh, revenue. Uh, but uh, you know, product is everything, Michael Patrick, and uh, this summer did not have an Avatar, uh, just some good solid product. What does it say about Hollywood that uh, a number of the best-selling movies were sequels? Iron Man 2, Toy Story 3, The Twilight Saga, Shrek Forever After? Yeah, it, it means it's a typical summer, and that's really been the, the way our industry has worked, uh, especially in those peak seasons where product that's familiar to, to customers is, is, is driving the business. Uh, but, you know, Inception came in, $270 million, uh, so far for that movie. And, uh, uh, you know, you always expect that there's going to be uh, uh, some original product like that that's, uh, that's going to show up. Uh, we just didn't have as many of those as we had hoped. Uh, a lot of the movies, too, what was it, five of the top ten uh, were movies that they say that uh, kids took their parents to, like Toy Story and Despicable Me and The Karate Kid and The Last Airbender. Yeah, exactly. Uh, movies that can cross over multiple uh, uh, demographics are always going to be the most uh, uh, successful at the box office. And, and Toy Story 3 really worked for all ages, and that's the beauty of our business is uh, uh, those kind of movies being successful and drawing all different age groups. And, and Toy Story 3 was just a great movie. Uh, they're really doing a new Avatar with uh, nine minutes of extra footage, and, th and they want people to come and see that? Yeah, yes, indeed, Michael Patrick. I mean, you, know, you could argue that James Cameron's right that uh, the original road of Avatar had to leave theaters a little before it's uh, it actually ran out of gas. And, and uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, examples of uh, the, the re-releases that have worked. And, of course, seeing movies on the big screen, Michael Patrick, that's a, that's a totally different experience than the home uh, entertainment. And, and uh, people love the big screen, and Avatar certainly uh, took advantage of, of all of the big screen attributes. Anything new coming out this weekend? Well, yeah, there's three new movies, including uh, George Clooney's uh, The American, which I saw this week, and I really liked that movie. Uh, you know, different than uh, an American action picture, this one a little bit more uh, uh, deliberate in pacing. Uh, it seems where no dialogue takes place, and yet George Clooney, uh, a terrific actor, and this uh, story of a hitman in Italy, kind of a more of a European feel, mm -hmm. that uh, rated R, that's uh, got a chance to be number one, Going the Distance with Drew Barrymore and Justin Long, and Machete from uh, director Robert Rodriguez, Danny Trio playing the lead character along with Robert De Niro, uh, Michelle uh, Rodriguez, Jessica Alba also in that cast. So um, for this weekend, if you're picking a movie, you like The American. Yeah, that's my uh, that's my pick. It is rated R. Keep that in mind. Uh, some pretty steamy love scenes, but uh, overall, with George Clooney, uh, uh, a terrific movie. Okay, Mr. Ron Van Timmeren. See you at the movies. See you at the movies. And it's James Cameron who says that one of these days, 3D will be the standard for every movie that you go to. He's going to release a Titanic version in 3D as well.